All right, y'all, here's my my flat four engine that I made. I won't lie to y'all, it's kind of, just look at this part right here. It makes it look so ugly. So to me, yeah, it's ugly. But that's okay because overall, it came out kind of good. Like I can just have it on display, just sitting right there. Another thing is, it doesn't run that good right now. There's some friction somewhere, but I'm not sure where it's at exactly, but but it still it still works. pretty pretty cool got the engine stand on it's kind of cool i can just have it just like look display mode but yeah y'all i won't lie this thing is ugly to me but it still looks cool at the same time i give it like a i give this like a four out of ten y'all what would y'all rate this on a scale one through ten yeah I look at the valves i had to turn them backwards and i had to like cut the valves just for the the, sh the uh, ride pieces right there to just so they can fit. But I don't lie, a lot, a lot happened to this thing during the process. Like, look at this, this part in the back. Like, it's just poking out. I had to like cut out a whole nother sheet and try to estimate the measurements and add on pieces. It was a lot going on, but. We're gonna give this thing a run with these balloons. They're getting kind of old. Just look at this. But we're gonna still give this thing a run just so I can show y'all what it sounds like. It sounds like a lot of air leaking. So get prepared to hear that part. I need an air compressor or something so we can get a official run. But I'm gonna pump these up and I'm gonna give this thing a test run. All right, y'all, here we go. Hold up. Hey, I won't even lie. I won't even lie. It didn't sound that bad. Well, that's the flat four engine. It wasn't that bad. I guess I just gotta lubricate it a little bit. And we should get some better performance. And I gotta make sure no air is leaking through there and the, the intakes. Yeah, y'all let me know. Let me know what y'all think.